I'm Margo Seltzer. And I'm David Malin. And we are super excited to be here to talk about the programming and data science pipeline part of the Harvard Business Analytics program. One of the wonderful things about being at Harvard is that you get these fabulous students. And in fact, one of my fabulous students is sitting to my left. Oh, I started teaching at Harvard in 1993. <laughs> and uh, David was not only a student in one of my courses, but he was actually my undergraduate advisee. Indeed, in my senior year, I took what proved to be my favorite computer science course, CS161, Operating Systems. Uh, but now I'm all grown up now <laughs> and all dressed up uh, here for the analytics program. So you might be wondering, are we teaching you operating systems? And the answer is no. And we also don't expect to turn you into diehard programmers in a short period of eight weeks. But what we do want to do is help you embrace some of the tools and techniques that are part and parcel of our trade, and also help you be better executives in managing your own businesses. Indeed, we'll give you a, a taste of what's possible with spreadsheets programs, with which you might already be familiar. We'll give you a taste of what's possible with databases and SQL, with, via which you can query and mutate data in an actual database. We'll then prove to you that sometimes spreadsheets and databases alone are not sufficient. And we'll introduce a bit of Python, a popular programming language via which you can actually change the data and access and analyze the data more readily than you might with only spreadsheets and databases alone. And so that'll be a lot of the technical skills that we're going to teach, and then we'll look at some higher level issues. We like to think about this course as having some underlying themes. And in particular, as David talked through some of the tools we'll be using, one of the real themes is how do you pick the right tool for the job? Because different tools have different value, and some of the ways that technical projects get in trouble is when you pick the wrong tool for the job. So we hope that at the end of this course, you'll have a good sense of how to pick the right tool for the job. In a couple of domains, too, we'll focus on what this cloud is about which you keep hearing, uh, security and how you think about it, and ultimately thinking about the trade-offs that you have to make invariably, how much time something might make to develop, how much space it might require, uh, what, are the resources you might, you, what are the resources you might need to bring to bear to solve the problem. And I really want to pick up on that key word that David just said, which is trade-off. A lot of technological issues really come down to making trade-offs, whether it's between space and time, convenience and security sometimes. That's a tough one. So we want to give you the tools to think about those trade-offs, give you the framework in which to identify those trade-offs, and ideally let you both ask the right questions and understand how to weigh those trade-offs trade -offs and pick the right choice. We'll begin then this class with a look at a tool that you might already be familiar with, spreadsheets, and we're hopefully going to hit a, a ceiling on what you can actually do with a tool like that, thereby motivating other tools for your toolkit with which to solve problems. So let me just jump on that a little bit. Our goal is not to torture you and drive you crazy. However, there will be times when we're going to ask you to solve problems using a given tool that you might find frustrating. And part of the reason for doing that is to let you really experience where the boundaries of a tool's efficacy lie so that you can know when to move on to a different tool. Ultimately, the goal is to solve problems and to think about those problems and to know what questions to ask when solving those problems. And so that is what lies ahead. That sounds good. We're looking forward. It's going to be a fun ride. And we're just delighted that you're here to join us.